um, this bit we are going to be opening as of today. Uh, You're the first one, you know. You're the first one. <laughs> How do I feel? I, I see that's progress. Yeah man, welcome back everybody to another vlog. So based on the thumbnail and the title of the video, on a new walk on in them. The road out of 12 miles Bull Bay open to the general public. As I can see. Yeah man, so right in front of Sun Coast, there's a, a Bull Bay, you know right where the detour road is, right there's so open. It's just one side the open door. So the must out the other side so you can get the drive button and everything good for true here so so how i set up this video first you're gonna get an interview with dr stephen shaw that's the manager of communication and customer service for the national works agency then you're gonna get some clips of them opening the road also some reactions and vehicles using the new roadway and don't worry, the aerial view is there from 12 miles to where the bridge is in Bull Bay. And please do, if you haven't already, subscribe because I'm gonna put out the full video from Grandspan coming towards the Bull Bay police station so you can see the alignment of the highway from that section. So subscribe from now and click the notification bell. We're here along uh, this section of the road between Yalas and 10 miles um, this bit we are going to be opening as of today uh, Friday July 28 um, what this will mean is that we are now going to be giving access to 10 of the 17 kilometer stretch of road so persons are going to be having access to all the new road between uh, Yalas or Albion and 10 miles with the opening of this additional roughly three kilometers stretch uh, between Marabella and 10 miles. It really speaks to the efforts that we have been making in ensuring that this particular investment uh, the per persons, the people of St. Thomas and uh, St. Andrew and Jamaica generally, they see and feel the benefits of, of this particular investment. We are aware of the challenges that persons have been having over some time and we are really pushing and pushing hard to try and, and, and uh, get out of the space and to give access, full access to the 17 kilometer stretch. So persons would have observed um, ramped up activities in the in the Harbour View area uh, between Harbour View and uh, Cane River, uh, where we have a number of uh, 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 poles that um, we are relocating. Um, Complements of the Jamaica Public Service Company, uh, telecommunications company Flow is also in this space uh, doing work, and so more uh, open spaces or more new um, road spaces will be. Uh, passed on or opened to the motoring public in the ensuing weeks as we work to, re to open the entire 17 kilometer stretch. I wish to say though that while we are giving access to this new road and more persons are going to be um, experiencing uh, the, 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 the new road, um, the, the vistas that are come with it, I want to underscore the need for safe use. It's very important that persons obey the speed limits. The speed limits here um, along our main road network is 50 kilometers and 80 kilometers. So persons are not to be traveling uh, above 80 kilometers along this particular uh, corridor. I know that there is going to be that uh, uh, 
inclination by some persons to speed. I want persons and I'm urging persons to resist any such uh, 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 feeling um, because you know you don't know if it is that you could be taking your last high-speed drive as well as you could be causing much uh, 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 sadness for other persons should there be an accident and so it's important that while you are traveling along this road while you're traversing this road you do so with utmost care we are going to be installing uh, safety features some signs um, will be along the corridor to advise persons as as they travel uh, i know that there is going to be the need for additional signage but i i, I in the context of work still um, ongoing uh, those things will come at a later stage but at the, the minimum required will be done on the opening of this particular stretch i want to also say to persons um, they are going to be because it's an active uh, work zone there are going to be times when um, the, 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 the lanes are going to be are going to be switched uh, because right now uh, we are going to be putting traffic on the, the, the side of road uh, that would normally when the corridor is, is, is finished be taking traffic from the direction of Gallas towards Kingston. There's two lanes and it is going to be shared lanes to take traffic in both directions uh, when we open it later on today. So based on progress, uh, will, will we meet the deadline date in August? What we're striving to do is to have at least two lanes open to the traveling public by the end of August 2023. That is what we're pushing, pushing for. Um, we, we still have some outstanding items, um, one of which uh, we are looking to try and, and, and deal with over a three-day period come uh, 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 next week when uh, we are going to be we are going to be looking to take uh, the weekend and one of the public holidays um, that's that's the, the uh, uh, independence day so that particular weekend we are going to be uh, doing significant work near the St. Benedict's um, school and um, that will mean some reduction in the available um, space for the motoring public um, while we work to create more embankment in that space for persons to use. In, in terms of this delay, any timeline for completion? Well, I, I wouldn't want to be saying um, what uh, the timeline um, is. As I said, what we're striving to do at a minimum is to have persons traveling along uh, at least two lanes between Yalas and Harborview before the end of uh, August 2023. Works will continue. Works are going to be ongoing because we still have uh, a number of outstanding things uh, to do and we have a commitment to not be on the road or to, with it, to, to be within this space a day later than is necessary to complete the items in the bill of quantities and to ensure that the safety of every Jamaican is taken on board when this project is completed. What happens beyond the Yalas Bridge? Works continue uh, beyond the Yalas Bridge. Uh, as you know, we have that stretch from Yalas to Port Antonio is divided into 13 distinct packages. We have uh, 10 packages that we have, well, along that particular stretch, we have five um, that are in progress. Um, we still have another five that we are looking to, to, to treat with. Um, the, 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 the contractor, meaning China Harbor Engineering, they have stepped in and they are doing some of the work 
um, as it relates to that which we refer to as package one, which is the stretch from Yalas to, 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 to the ponds. Um, we are looking to significantly improve the situation there in another month, month and a half, um, so that persons can have a, 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 a sort of a ease in the challenges that they have been having. Beyond that particular point, you would have noticed that uh, paving activities are ongoing as we work towards Morant Bay. Um, we're aware of some of the issues that have manifested themselves um, on the stretch between Morant Bay and Prospect that we to as package four. But it is unfinished work and um, any challenges that are there, the contractor is duty bound to fix. And so we are not too perturbed about um, some of the things that we have seen manifested as I assure each and every one that at the end of the day, you shall receive that which we have contracted to do, and that's a good product. Thank you very much. Mr. Shaw, you mentioned um, from Morant Bay to Prospect, it's over two months now since we're stuck on that section, and it is getting worse right now. Right? You, you were there about last week, I drove on it last week. Right? How soon are you planning to get them back to start working on that section? All right, so we had a meeting uh, a couple of days ago. The CEO, E.G. Hunter, met with the Deputy General Manager, uh, Jiang, from, he actually flew in from Panama because he was the Czech's senior officers in the Americas, at the, 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 the headquarters, Czech is headquarters in, in Panama. And we actually summoned them to Jamaica. The Deputy General Manager came down had a meeting with the CEO of the National Works Agency, and he has given a commitment to putting additional resources uh, uh, in, in place to ensure that all of these things that we have raised in, 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 in recent times, and some of them have been raised over a, a, an extended period, that they are going to be treating with them. They are committed to dealing with these things and so we are holding them accountable because at the end of the day the agreement that was signed was between the government of jamaica and china harbor notwithstanding the presence of subcontractors on the ground um, they have a responsibility meaning china harbor to treat with whatever it is and in some respects they have been because already they have gotten rid of two of the subcontractors because of different things to include slow pace of work and, and, and um, the concerns that we would have raised with them as it relates to what was not happening and not happening in the way that we expected. So that was the first of two interviews by Mr. Shaw. So now you can see that they are chaining up the concrete pillars that they used to block the road so that now they can reopen it to the public and there you can see them falling down the crane machine you're the first one you know you're the first one so how it, how it feel although it was very sweet coming down and <laughs> This is not going to be a TV jet. This is not going to be a TV jet. No, 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 seriously, no, you can't. You can't. You can't. No, you can't. I love the road, I love the progress, and especially from where you're coming out and to be the first one. How do you feel about it? How do I feel? I, I see it as progress and I embrace it. And I think a lot of other Jamaicans are going to embrace it.
told I'm not the same no more Yeah, I don't know what you've been told
I want to make a special appeal to those persons who are operators of trucks and the trailers, especially those that are hauling material from St. Thomas into St. Andrew and elsewhere. There is this section of road leading to the bridge at 10 miles. That is roughly 800 meters in length. It is, a, it is an 8% slope in terms of its gradient, meaning it, it, it has a bit of steep, steep, steepness about it. And so persons who are operating those heavy units, they are to ensure that they engage the appropriate gear in descending the hill. We have established what is referred to as a brake check area. So before you get uh, into the middle of the, this particular uh, bit of road, you want to ensure that you check if there is any doubt as to the quality of the braking system that you have. You are not to be on the road, quite frankly, if your braking system is not sound, but anything can happen with a mechanical device. And so we want to ensure that you operate in this space in the greatest amount of safety possible and so we are urging you please ensure that when you use this bit of road you are doing so in a safe way engage the appropriate gear um, check your vehicle to ensure that its braking system is, is sound and use the road accordingly we have established uh, where we have erected signs to indicate uh, the gradient. We have indicated, we have a sign indicating where the brake area is. And all that is left for you to do is to play your part and ensure that yourselves and fellow road users operate within this space in a safe way. You know, he said, all the motorists yeah, some driver coming down with some high-speed truck. Yeah. And I'm sure when you're going to say, I'm going to make a target panic. It's a slippery slope. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Well, I mean... You no, wrong thing. What do you mean? Yeah, you couldn't call it Christian, so give me. Yeah. Give me. I want to say that there are GMs already in uh, the additional space out of Princess Margaret. No, we're not going to be Now that we've reached the end of the video, just want to say subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, share it with your family and friends so they can see what's going on in St. Thomas. And also to stay tuned when I give a proper update from Grand Spain coming all the way to 9 miles where the Bull Bay Police Station once was.